Hey guys, Wagwan, how's you doing? How's you feeling? Naskiaja by the way, Mkofiri. I hope you guys are fantastic. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, karibu sana. If you are not, click the subscribe button. Finya bonyeza kitu hapo with Wokidogo. Ndiyo kisi ni time I'm uploading a video, you are able to watch it. And thank you so much to our new subscribers, karibu ni sana. And to our old ones, you know what? I got love for y'all. Now I take it, man. Now I take it. Now I take it. I I appreciate y'all so much, and may our good God bless y'all. But anyway, um, today's episode. What are we gonna be doing? I'm going to be answering the question y'all been asking. What happened to Switch TV? <laughs> oh my! You know, I feel um, I feel like um. That person who's been just replying that question like a few days asking me on my comment section. Then I'm like, do I feel like starting to explain to one person, to one person, to another person? I'm like, no, I'm just going to do a whole video and just, you know, talk about it and uh, we call it a day. So, yeah, so if you're here, Karibu Sana, if you're curious, today you get to um, hear my side of the story of what happened to Switch TV and why I no longer work for Switch TV. But um, all said and done, God is in control of God, of God, of God, of God. You know how in Zulits, Karibun is Nana. Anyway, I don't know why I do that, by the way. I think I have too many personalities in one. Can there be too many personalities in one? Hi! I do not know. But anyway, back to the story of the day. So, this is what happened three years ago when I joined Switch TV. That was in 2018, November 5th was their first time I was on air on Chatspot. So, um, my story has been quite interesting. <laughs> I always say this, people ask me how, cause I think most of y'all got to know me when I got into media. Kuna wengi wenu wa kwangwa anajua like, ni kwanga musani, ni kangana na musani, tuka pabana na hari, lakini mali mungu wali tufikisha, ya tasi mali mungu wali tufikisha. By the way, we brought a GC ya glorify God in the right way. But that is a topic for another day. Another day. Okay? But anyway, like I said, read your Bibles. Yes. So um I do I do believe most of my followers and my fans um got to know about me after I got into media. But some of y'all already knew me when I was doing music, right? I started music back in 20. 20 what? 2014, 2013, 2014, 2015. That's when I had the, you know, the breakthrough and I did raising in Dandia. Then that's how I got into the mainstream market. And uh, my musical journey wasn't so easy. It came with um, its own challenges. But I think that's going to be um, another video talking about the music industry. Today, I was just going to answer the question why I no longer work for Switch TV. And why I'm not there anymore. But yes. So 2018, what happened was um earlier on that year, was it th yeah, earlier on that year, I think it was around mid. Um, our boss, uh, okay, my former boss, her name is Mr. Mimi. I always say this. That woman to me, she was my destiny helper in that season of my life. God used her to place me where he needed me to grow me to where he needs me to go. I'm using he needs me to go because I'm still on the journey of, you know, understanding and learning and, you know, grasping the depth of what God actually wants me to do and how he wants to use me um, for his, you know, kingdom. So, um, 2018, what happened? How I met Amima was I went to her show. Um, she was hosting a show. I think it was called Hot Topics or something. I can't remember. She was hosting a show on every TV. And, um, you know, it was called Last Minute. And the funny thing, me, your sequel only had 500 shillings. I asked my mom to give me 500 bob because I needed fuel. Hey, <laughs> It was just one of those days. Like, I used to do music. I used to perform. I used to get money. But I used to waste my money on things which the devil had just, you know, she cut me. And it was just making sure all my money was just coming and going story for another day but yes let me go back to what we're talking about today so that's how i got to meet tamima and um i met tamima at the show she got to interview me it's the time i had released mtajuamjui 
and um she just you know did kawaii you know the way you go to an interview you get interviewed you talk about your song you get you talk about um a few things about yourself and you know you share your story you just talk to people and kawaii was just being kush crazy so i went over there i was like eh, 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 i'm already performed the song and i think we had another personality interview and there was another female rapper in the interview as well and um i think the funny thing i, I think she had this fancies in one of our songs i can't remember or something you know it's that time people used to diss each other and all of that call each other in the industry i've just never seen the sense in it but i understand kiki the kiki whichever way mtu akitaka utaitafuta but okay story for another day again yes so um that's how i got to meet amima so when tamima was moving from ebru to uh is it ebru ama ebru ebru tv to um to go and start on switch tv she actually just had me in her mind so she got my number and um she called me she called me and she was like hi hey, um it's samima i hosted you on my show i was like oh yeah 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 i do remember you and i was you know okay tom's is calling and i was like okay nice and actually that was the first time i got to meet her like the, the time she hosted me on our show and what happened was i wasn't expecting what she told me she was like um we are starting a new tv station and i'm trying to put together a show of ladies she told me you know the concept and the idea that she had and uh, the first thing i was like eh, i don't think i can be a host i'm used to being interviewed i don't know how to be the interviewer <laughs> so i was like um there's something about your energy you know your personality you're very authentic you're just yourself and uh, you just never know I, 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 you, let me tell you something about God. How God works is, you might think you can't do a particular thing. Then God is going to place someone who will see that thing in you. And that person can push you into trying something you thought you'd never do. That was Tamima for me. I wouldn't even know. When I say that me, God has placed me in places he needed me. And everything that has happened in my life has just been by the grace and mercy and the favor of God. I'm like so serious. Mini lingia media kama muchezo as in nearly slide into nearly in gear too <laughs> but i think it's one thing like i said it's easy for me to hide behind the music it's something else when it comes to you know having me speak and having me being expressive of how i think how i feel and what my perspective is and a lot of y'all came to know um this side of me when i got into tv and uh, that's when people started being like okay kumbe she talks like this kumbe she behaves like kumbe she thinks like this because you know before the music was just you know all trying to be you know a bad girl over there you're smoking you're drinking you're popping bottles you're partying you're ratcheting you're i'm just all over the place but now when i got into tv people are able to see through the mask in a way i still had a mask when i was on tv but they were able to see through the mask they were able to see now the me 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 um in a way i wouldn't say like the whole of me but at least they got to have an idea of what kind of a person that i am right but i always say this anyone who's ever met me they can tell you what kind of a person i am but if you've never met me you might misunderstand um how i speak i'm a how aggressive sometimes i might sound to be maybe bossy or rude or something you know i get that a lot but when you get to meet me you might even think i'm a snob because i don't like speaking have you ever met someone who talks a lot but they don't like speaking have you ever met someone who is very sociable so sociable have you ever met someone who is a social being and uh, friendly and nice and kind to people even to strangers when they meet even for the first time but at the same time that person prefers to just sit alone you know at one particular corner and just mind her business and just not speak to anyone i kind of get so social anxiety when i'm around a lot of people especially people i don't know other when i'm just around a lot of people i'm used to being alone as in and it's not a good thing it's a good thing in some way but it's also not a good thing so hence another story for another day i started getting back out there and you know trying to be more friendly and more talkative and more just out of like a cocoon of being a loner because i enjoy being a loner and it's not healthy all the time but yes that's a story for another day 
so um yeah back to tamima tamima called me and she was like you know um uh, let's have a meeting i went and, and met her she told me you know abcd blah 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 and just you know the kawaida use stuff you know the usual stuff um concerning how the show is gonna be you know just you know the concept and the idea behind the show then she was like there's going to be an audition and i'd like you to come through and i was like okay yay. i was like so anxious that the fanzati had a face to love in me i was very anxious because i've never done this never thought about this never even considered it never even yani, you know those things when someone tells you you'll be like ah me me i'll always be the one who's being interviewed like it was it never crossed my mind in any way never like you all know if you've heard my story i wanted to become an engineer but life happened where you need to start talking but anyway god has many more plans yes so i went to the audition so getting to the audition i met faces i was actually the youngest and even all through ever since i joined chatspot to when um you know the station um decided to go offline from you know mainstream media to now they're trying to go into on the online space i've always been the youngest and uh sometimes i just felt like i don't know sometimes i used to feel out of place because i do understand that i'm not a usual person the way i think the way i reason sometimes it's above my age and uh, sometimes it's beneath me i've been petty i know <laughs> I've said some things on the show which I'm like, wow, push. Above everything you had to say, that's what you could have said. Shame, girl. But you know what? We get to learn. I've never been in that space, never experienced it. But right now, if I get back into media, I definitely know better. I know what to do, what not to do. What to say, what not to say. And of course, I've grown, you know, I've grown spiritually to a point of understanding sometimes how I feel doesn't necessarily have to be what I say. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes I need to um think and reason beyond my feelings and emotions and uh, try to see things from both perspectives and be fair of judgment and be fair of you know the points that i give out but not be biased with my points just because of how i feel how i feel is one thing my emotions are one thing but the truth is another thing so i'd rather stick to truth which will always remain true so that's how we met, uh, that's how i went to the audition so when i went to the audition um you know we were seated and guys were being shifted someone is taken out someone else is coming in but i was seated in the whole thing like all through so by the grace and favor of god i managed to peter and get into you know get chosen for you know to have a seat at the table so um you know you're going to this new space you've never done this before you've never really been on tv apart from being interviewed for your music that's a whole different thing now you have to be there intro and all of that i was very confused i'm very sure when i started out i wasn't really sure what i'm doing but i learned on the job like honestly i learned on the job and i thank god for placing me in that space i thank my bosses who believed and trusted in my abilities and so it in me to be able to do this because um i think with the years we're going to talk more um about you know some of the things that happened some of the things that i learned but i'll always say this i'm grateful to my bosses i'm grateful to switch tv it was at home and i never had a problem with anyone in all honesty from you know my um my employees not my employees just i was the employee my employers to just the whole team i was that person who went to work did what i needed to do and i was out of there you know those people are like you know if you're not around to be involved in other things you'll be on the safe side yeah it was those people i was like eh, hey, i don't want to be caught up in things because i've never been in such a setting music is different music you just walk in perform and you leave so when i got there i was like walk in perform and leave apply what you do in music here you've never done this you are just learning and trying to see whether this can happen but i was very afraid i would i was so afraid but i thank god after the first year that's when you know i got saved actually while i was on switch hey i've had so many seasons on that table and i also backslid while i was on switch and uh, after backsliding i went back to god while i was still there <laughs> oh 
my i have so many stories to tell you but yes so that happened so that's how i got into switch but um let me let me say one thing let me say one thing as i uh wind up this um, whole video um it's one thing for god to place you where he needs you for a season for him to unlock a part of you a gift in you that you maybe thought you didn't have a gift that you were never considering it to be something you could use something that could be of help or could be of impact in your life so for me the gift was speaking so being on chat spots got me to a point of understanding higher yelling kumbi you can talk kumbi you don't have to like sing 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 up again rap 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 up any killer sir kumbi you can actually speak and make sense okay okay clap for yourself clap for yourself you get what i'm saying and i think that's one of the things that got me into thinking of you know starting to vlog then i got to a point where i was like okay apart from all of this vlogging and all of that i love doing things which i'm passionate about and uh, i'm really passionate about god so i feel like god put me in that season to unlock this gift in me of speaking i'm still working on my communication skills i'm not perfect i'm not so good but i'm still learning like i said mimi ni ule mtu ana unasema ngo umefundishwa na dunia na experiences no school and you know wherever you're just learning as you keep going so um there's been a lot of that and i'm grateful to god because if it wasn't for that opportunity i wouldn't know i would actually sit in front of a camera and speak to people because i only considered doing this when it came to just you know doing music and i didn't really have to be in front of a camera if i'm not like shooting a video or something or doing an interview so that's how god works he'll place you somewhere for a season for you to unlock a gift that he might need you to use in the future and yet god is saying i'm going to predestine na already amona the end from the beginning so i'm only amazed and i'm just excited and i can't wait to see what god has in store in between the journey is not easy we shall talk about that in other videos but for this video the main thing was you know talking of you know what happened at switch so um it wasn't i didn't get fired and i did not quit my job what happened was switch got to a place of um they want to move into the online space and uh, for that to happen they had to take you know it's like you know nanga pos kidogo let's go and uh, check out um and let us restructure and see how this is going to work so they truly believe that they can actually um walk around the online space because you know most of the um the viewers and the guys who used to follow us on switch tv were you know the youth them and the, all of these youngins and all of that and most of the time we spend a lot of time on social media so for switch they decided to move on to their online space so that they are in the process of you know restructuring and doing whatever they need to do to get into that space and hence that's why they are no longer on air so we did not get fired we did not fall out and uh, it's called what and there is no bad blood i really love and appreciate what switch has done for me as a person as a brand as um you know i've really grown i appreciate everyone i got to meet um at switch tv some people we, we i'm sure will have you know a friendship that will stay for a very long long time and a lifetime and you know for some people even though we met for that particular season i'm grateful for you know every season so i did not get fired i did not quit but you know my contract came to an end the same time um the station was trying to restructure to move into the online space so yeah mbele atunyui ya sai pekendo twajua but i'm very grateful to switch tv and for the opportunity you know hosting three shows we'll talk about that on you know a different video but i think i've answered your question um they are moving to the online space so you better watch out all of y'all who are normally online but i'm thank you i'm thankful for the season it was an amazing three years it was an amazing um it was an amazing experience you know it was an amazing experience i'll share more details and more things about you know my journey being a media personality and being on chat spot and being on vibes yard and also getting to host light house even if i only hosted one show before the station decided to go online but i'll share things with you as we continue to grow together on this channel 
So thank you so much for watching. I think I believe I've answered your question. Oh, and yes, when you're are you going to get back into the media space? Well, I'm looking forward to getting back into the media space. You know, if God avails the opportunity for me or an opportunity calls and knocks at my door, I'm definitely going to embrace it and I wouldn't mind getting back into the media space. I feel like I still have a lot to offer. But like I said, sometimes, you know, maybe if the opportunity is not going to be there, this is still me doing media. You know, I'm seated in front of a camera, not camera, like in it. It is still, you know, camera and doing a fanya kazia for record. I'm still seated in front here and I'm still talking to you guys. So I believe I'm still working within the media space and using the gift God gave me to do good and to, you know, to, to do whatever I can do for his kingdom. So well, thank you. And I think I've answered your question. So I got y'all. I'm going to be seeing you in the next video. And God bless y'all and be safe. And of course, tell your friends, tell your friends, tell a cousin, tell an auntie, tell a neighbor to come subscribe and let's grow together. In the comment section, you can just let me know some of the topics you want me to talk about and to touch on and some of the things and questions you have. And I'll try to my best ability and apply the wisdom of God. That means I'll bring in the Bible <laughs> and ask the Holy Spirit to intervene and Jesus is going to lead the way as we continue. So be blessed. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.